We're in the city of Aberdeen, one of the great energy capitals of the world, launching a demonstrator for a really exciting project of the introduction of hydrogen fuel buses into Aberdeen within two years. And what's particularly exciting about it is the potential of using wind power to produce the electricity, which will then produce the hydrogen, which will then power the buses, and creating a, a clean, green energy cycle to power public transportation in the northeast of Scotland. Well, I think it's important and significant because it puts Aberdeen very much at the forefront of world developments in energy. I think that's a natural place for Aberdeen to be, but it does profile us in a most positive way. And I think that you know it shows, again, this city and the, and the country can play a lead role uh, right across the world. Well, their long-term aims on this type of work is to understand, is to manage the flows of electricity on and off our network. That will allow us to look at new technologies like wind farms and to harness the intermittency of that. So a wind farm, instead of turning it off when, when it can't get access to a network, we can take that energy, store it, change it into something different and use it for somewhere else. So it's very important to us because it allows you to use more renewable energy where you can get it connected to the network. If I was asked to guess, I would say within a very defined period of time, uh, the greater part of the bus fleet of Scotland and indeed Europe, will be on either hybrid technology, which we already have working, Scotland, Scottish produced, or hydrogen technology, which we hope to see working uh, in Scotland. Uh, and that gives us great advantages, because we have so much energy potential for production of electricity in Scotland. We want to find more and more ways of using that in a clean, green and efficient manner. This is one of them. So I think we'll see a balance of uh, our uh, public transportation between the sort of hybrid technology which we've already introduced and this hydrogen technology which in many ways is going to be one of the great technologies of the future.